Towards high summer, the wool shed down by the creek becomes the centre of the farm activity, for it's shearing time again. <laughs> there are about 714 million sheep in the world. 40 million of them are in New Zealand, and every year they have to be mustered and shorn. In the sheds throughout the country, the shearers are at work. In a typical shed, there are three or four men working on the board. Here, they're shearing crossbreds, each sheep clipping about 10 pounds of wool. Shearing's hard work, but it's work that calls for much more than just physical strength. It also requires stamina. Good shearing requires two, balance, grace, rhythm. It needs a good eye and you have to share with your brain as well as your hands. Shearing's good fun. There's always a lot of barracking on the board, for over the years, shearing's developed into a competitive job. Right back into blade shearing days, it's always been an honor to shear for the ringer's stand at the head of the board. You can also get into your blood, and it's brought old Harry here back to the shed for his 50th season. Until the wool board set up its shearing instruction service, there was really no place for a man to learn to shear, except down at the bottom of the board. Skill and style were just picked up. But shearing's a good job, and more and more men are taking it up. Men like Godfrey Bowen, who's developed a style which has become known as the Bowen Technique. The job of getting the fleece off the sheep has been thoughtfully analysed. A way has been worked out of making the man and the sheep and the machine work smoothly together so that the wool can be removed with a minimum of effort and lost time. The technique, as you'll see, is easy on the shearer. It's simple to learn and in practice it gives close, clean, good shearing and when fully mastered, top speed. But let's start at the beginning. Let's see this technique demonstrated and explained to us by Godfrey Bowen here. The shearer is judged on the quality of his work. A good shorn sheep a minimum of cuts and tassels. He is also judged on the lack of second cuts in the fleece. The shearer will now demonstrate the actual blows in shearing. He will use a shorn sheep, and while it is difficult to control a freshly shorn sheep, it is not possible to show blows clearly on a woolly sheep because the wool conceals the handpiece and shearer's legs. The left hand will take the sheep's front leg the forearm brushing the wool up, and the first blow down round inside the flank. The next one round under the leg, the other one to the other flank, break it out. Note the left hand putting the leg behind the knee, is now down on the belly to stretch the skin up as the final belly blows are completed. Now out the top of the leg, the fingers covering the teats, as two blows come inside the crutch to the centre. One, two. Now the body, shearer's body, will move to the other leg and two blows to complete the crutch to the other side. One out the, oh, put that out of the way. One out the top of the leg, the other one into the flank and then straight down the firm part of the leg. Note the shearer's wrist tipping out to keep the comb on the skin. Straight down the leg under the tail, and three blows up the back. The sheep has rolled over, the shearer leans forward. Two blows on the top knot, one over each eye, back to the ear. Now the shearer steps through. Note the shearer's leg here, wrapped well through the backbone. This is essential for good position in head shearing. 
Now the brisket blows, one up, one down onto the shoulder, and one with a comb on the side to cut the moiety neck off. Straight up under the throat, break it out, round onto the side of the cheek, right up under the shearer's fingers. A short one under the ear, the wrist keeps the nose over the thigh, the head is rolled on the knee, and the blows square across to the other ear. First shoulder, two blows in that direction. Now the sock is taken off with the leg stretched. Note the elbow keeping the sheep's head against the knee. The sheep turning round for the long blow. Two short blows and five long ones. Now at the end of the first long blow, the shearer's foot will step out. There it is. Allows the sheep to roll round. Now the sheep is rolled high with the foot under the shoulder and the leg in front of the brisket. There it is there. Foot right under the shoulder, shearer's leg in front of the brisket. The last blow of the long bow, right up under the ear. The shearer's knee in behind the sheep's head for the last cheek, and each blow on the last side goes down. Down across the brisket, down onto the shoulder, down out the leg. Now his leg will step out behind the sheep, stretch the leg out and run those blows right out to the toe. On the last side, every blow goes down. Not straight down, nor straight round, but in a 45 degree angle. Down inside the flank. The next one, the longest one in shearing, from there to there. Right down, right out across the flank. Keep going, right out onto the hock. Each blow finishes right out on the hock. There it is, each one going in. Now with the sheep completed, he's going to switch off. Watch the left hand come through the body, take the trip cord, the sheep walks out. Now you'll see two sheep shorn at speed. Go! This style and technique of shearing, when fully mastered, gives maximum speed, quality work, with a minimum of physical effort. Although at top speed, the shearer is unruffled, calm and collected. He is shearing to a definite pattern, and yet with that timing, grace and rhythm, that is so essential to shearing and makes a hard job easier. It is often said that the main thing in shearing is holding the sheep. That's okay, but don't hold them too long. Fifty-eight seconds. The others appreciate the fast, clean job this technique gives when it's mastered properly and it takes a lot to impress these reapers of the wool harvest. The sheep are shorn. The shearers have started the long process of turning the fleece into fabric. For the ewes and their shorn lambs, shearing's over for another year.
They go out to the paddocks once more to grow next year's crop. Wool, so important to New Zealand's prosperity and to the warmth of the world.